Hi there. In this video, I'd like to share with you a very interesting refactoring experience I have uh, I recently had. It's interesting because a lot of things, um, maybe the biggest one is maybe I shouldn't have done that. You may have already read this uh, recently on a social media, which is posted as a very efficient code. Um, and when you firstly read it, it's pretty much like uh, some kind of data visualization, right? Basically, uh, it looks like a process bar. So given the percentage, it will print some, it will print a process bar uh, in characters. Uh, and as the percentage uh, grow, it will tend to grow, uh, blue. And then finally it will be 100%. Uh, it's all blue dots. People love it, people hate it. Um, and you can see like it has uh, many people are commenting in the post below. And uh, some people like appreciated the uh, the clearness, like it's pretty much um, self-explained. You don't have to understand what's the logic there. It's pretty straightforward. Some others argue that it can be right in a better way using the collection API to reduce the duplication here. When I read it yesterday, my first reaction is, mm, it's definitely bad. I should write it like a, uh, using some kind of clever mechanisms to simplify the code. But after a few minutes of thinking, I found it's the initial version is not that bad, you know. It's it's very um, straightforward. So maybe there are some defects there, like uh, negative values. What does negative value mean in here? Uh, or um, maybe it's uh, like uh, over 100, what will be represented like that. Despite that part, I think the code is pretty um, self-explained. It's clean, it's it's intuitive. And when you read it, I mean, visually read it, it looks pretty self-explained, right? And I found some interesting, uh, simpler version. Uh, you feel uh, integer, it costs the result as an integer by um, multiply the percentage um, by 10 and then uh, empties 10 minus fails and then return the string with like a repeat uh, the full cycle fails plus the empty cycle. Uh, so for an experienced uh, developer, this might looks pretty familiar and uh, it's quite, it's concise and compact. But is that cleaner than the original version? Generally speaking, I think the original version is cleaner. But is that perfect? Uh, I don't think so either. I will try to reflect that in this session. Please be aware of that. I don't think this bad code is just, uh, I think it's only need a little bit of work on the uh, conditioning part. But on top of that, if we consider the, um, if we consider the f future requirement, maybe it's a fake uh, requirement, um, like the extendability uh, separation of concerns, we can we can reshape the code in a different way. But it's not saying I'm not saying it's a better way. It's just a different way that more adaptive. Uh, it's more easy to change in the future. But if there is no requirement for the future change, keep it as is. Uh, if you think extendability, maintainability, maybe we can um, reflect it a little bit in a different way. Cool. Let's start with the. Um, <clears throat> so I, I, so actually, I found the code in. Um, so actually, someone posted the Git Git repo of the initial of the um, code, <clears throat> which is an open source project, which is temporary um, read only. But you can read the code. Everyone can read the code. I just uh, located the function. It's exactly. Uh, the same as the um, the original post in Reddit, because this is a C sharp file, and uh, I prefer to use it in JavaScript to do the refactoring. So I or copy it over to uh, WebStorm and uh, doing the uh, refactoring over there. I, I made a little bit change to make it align with the syntax in JavaScript, uh, in TypeScript. So basically, it's something like this. Um, and again, it's pretty clear and uh, explaining well what he's trying to do. But that is the thing I, I think we can uh, do better, which is the percentage checks. This is not a very big issue. 
So normally I prefer to extract a function for these kind of complicated checks. Uh, like uh, mm, if you have a, uh, an AND operation between different conditions, I would extract the whole thing as a um, function. Uh, we, can, we can have a function like uh, is the percentage in uh, range and give it two parameters, uh, the low and the high. So uh, we can do that by command shift M. We can call it um, is percentage in range. Obviously, these need to be a parameter. So we will do command option P uh, to extract that as a uh, variable here. And uh, similarly, we will do this as well. Uh, it will be a high Mm, not sure why it's defined as a boolean, but it should be a number. Anyway, so uh, we have this kind of function. Oh, I guess it's not uh, present. It's percentage uh, in range. So um, I think with this kind of small function, we can make it a little bit more uh, readable. It's still my opinion. Maybe it's not really readable to some people, but um, I prefer to extract the functions for these kind of um, combined checks. It's easier to modify as well because it's a single place. Um, all right, so we will need to replace the rest as well. I will do that. All right, now we have this small, small function in it and uh, it will check all the uh, percentage. I think it's, it's already in a good state, we don't have to do any further uh, change if that's only requirement. And I would like to get change it to uh, align with uh, JavaScript conventions. And let's test it out here by using the console log. Um, maybe get point zero. And I'm using the Quaka plugin. So let me run it here to see if it's working. Um, yeah, it's, it's working perfectly and maybe we can try one. It's um, all blue, maybe, um, I don't know, um, point three. It's um, working fine as well. So uh, let's add one more, maybe uh, three, 31. So it's, it works perfectly. And uh, and we can form, reformat the code to make it looks slightly better. Uh, not this particular line, but the whole file. Wow, look at that. I like the the, the new structure actually. Uh, it looks more like a, a, yeah, like a blue triangle here. Beautiful. If you don't have to change the code, adding new features or, you know, fixing defects, that's perfect. Uh, we, we can call it a day and that's, that's it. But what if I'm saying, um, I'm just uh, assume, I'm just making assumptions here, uh, which could be totally fake. So what if we want to change the blue dot to red ones? It's, it's possible, right? Or if tomorrow we want to reverse the, the color, like uh, the, the, you know, the white is completed, the uh, blue one is the initial state. We have to like kind of copy and um, paste. We have to shift it around. But the logic here, like checking if the percentage in range, we have um, 11 bands, uh, like a percentage of zero or like lower than that is one band. Uh, anything higher than one is another band and that at another nine here. So 11, um, bands in total, in have levels in total, and different one has different representations. We we kind of need to split this presentation and uh, the business logic here. So that way, uh, whenever we have a percentage, we we will calculate the um the, the which band it it's um which band it's in, and then based on that, we will map the um, bands to some kind of presentation. Right, by splitting the presentation and uh, the uh, logic, we can easily modify 
either side of the big picture. So um, by saying that, I mean we can have a function that calculate uh, which band a percentage is in, and we can have another function that using the band to map a final result for the uh, presentation. Let's duplicate this function first um, by saying I don't know. We can call it get band, get band. Given a percentage like so, we will return zero here. And similarly for this one, we return one, two, three, four. So <clears throat> if we split the logic into a function, which given any percentage, we return a band. It will encapsulate the bin's logic into a separate place. And on the other hand, we can have a function that doing the map uh, or drawing part. It will draw a process uh, which takes um, a band as an input, which is number. Draw, so the draw process will be like the band uh, is the input, uh, and we will um, repeat this blue but blue dot like blue dot dot repeat band times plus uh, the re the white ones dot the white ones dot repeat 10 minus band times and we return it right and that way we ha we kind of split the we, we split the drawing, the presentation, and the business logic into two separate play, two separate um, process. So now we have split the whole process into two stages. The first one is calculate the, all the um, bands based on the percentage, and second one is drawing the bands into a process bar. And then the function can be replaced by the whole the the two processes like return draw process bar and get band um, by percentage right so the output as you can see is still uh, the same but the benefit is like uh, if we want to change the um, presentation part for example if we want to reverse these two uh, dots we can do that easily by swap it here and then uh, it's, it will automatically swap it. or if we want to, in a command line, we want to see uh, the finished one will be the hash tag and uh, the unfinished one will be the equal mark. It will be very easy to change that. So the maybe 10 characters is a little bit shorter. You, you want it to be longer. You can put it like, uh, like so to make it uh, more realistic. I hope you learned something from this video. And uh, please comment below uh, about what are you thinking. And I will see you in the next video.